Let's not waste any time and jump right into it. Here are the Uber requirements and Lyft requirements to drive in Boston. First off, let's start with Uber. One, you need to be 21 years or older to consent to and pass a screening. Additionally, you must have at least one year of driving experience. So let's say you're in college, for example, let's say you're 21, but you've been driving since you were 16 or 17, you should be good. However, if you just started driving recently, that might be an issue. And of course, you need to be 21 years or older. So if you're like say 19 or 20 in college, even if you have been driving for a few years, for example, fortunately you can't drive until you're 21. Going into vehicle requirements, I'll touch upon this in a second. You must have an eligible vehicle and insurance. Side note, I highly suggest not just having regular insurance, which obviously you should have no matter what, whether you're driving or not, but also having ride share insurance on top of that. It makes things a lot easier for you, especially if any legal infraction happens. If you get into an accident, it just, it makes things a lot safer for you. And then lastly, sign up to drive. So going here for the uh, vehicle requirements, minimum requirements, 15 year old vehicle or newer, unless otherwise stated, one unique side note, some vehicle models have a higher minimum year requirement. So that is something to keep in mind. Four door vehicle, good condition with no cosmetic damage and no commercial branding. You need a registration, insurance and state inspection. Your motor vehicle must meet all applicable inspection requirements and you must maintain a valid inspection certificate of approval for the vehicle on your car and a copy in your account. If I go here, there's a bunch of documents that are required. You know, uh, when you go to sign up with Uber, there's gonna be a bunch of them that you have to like submit and everything. And then going down here, I'll just go to here. These are all the eligible vehicles. Now I'm gonna scroll through this kind of quick. There are different versions of Uber in case you don't know. You have Uber Comfort, Uber X, which is the most regular one. Side note to Uber X and Uber, same thing. I don't know why they kind of switched the name up, but Uber X is just normal Uber. Uber XL, let's say if you have a bigger vehicle, you're gonna make more money. So these are all different versions of Uber I'd look into because hey, if you qualify for Uber Black, you're gonna make way more money than regular Uber. So I do suggest based off your vehicle, looking into these requirements a lot more specifically as each one is a little different. And then going here, here are the eligible vehicles in Boston. As you can imagine, there's a lot. I mean, I'm just gonna click around, you know, and what's good about this too is let's say you have a, uh, like a Prius, for example, which is actually the car I started driving with when I drove for Uber and Lyft. I can go down here and where, oh, there's a bunch of them. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. So we have a Prius and it shows you which one you can drive for. So with the Prius 2006 model, just Uber Connect, but the 2007 model, I have Uber Pet, Uber Green, and Uber X. And as I'm just kind of like bouncing around, you can see that depending on the make and the model, like if I go to Mercedes-Benz, a lot of these might be able to drive for other versions. So the GLS class, for example, the 2015 model, you can drive for Uber Black. If you have the 2007 model, you can only drive for Uber XL, Uber Pet, Uber Green, and Uber X, but not the Black version. So remember that depending on not only the make and model, but the year especially, especially for the more high-end rides, you do have to have a newer vehicle. Now going to Lyft, first off, Lyft and Uber has different requirements, and keep this in mind, depending on your situation, you might qualify for one, but not another. I know that's kind of weird and also frustrating. So you need 2006 or newer, at least at the exact time of this video, four doors, five to eight seats, and a valid license plate. Going down here, valid driver's license, temporary or out-of-state licenses are also acceptable. So that's good. But this is the big kicker for Boston when it comes to Lyft. You need one year of driving experience and be 25 or older. So if let's say you're 21, 22, 23, 24, you can drive for Uber, more likely than not, but not for Lyft. I know it's super frustrating, but just something you have to keep in mind. In addition, you have to pass a two-part driver screening, both Lyft and the Massachusetts DPU will review your driving history and criminal background check. And then of course you need a phone to run Lyft. This is the same for Uber as well. And then lastly, the document requirements, proof of vehicle insurance, proof of vehicle registration, um, TNC inspection within 365 days, and a photo.